I wish you all a very happy feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, who is our patroness here in this parish, but she's also the protectress of our Diocese of Brentwood. So we entrust not just our parish today, but also our bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all the faithful of our diocese to the intercession of our Blessed Lady. It was on the 11th of February, 1858, that our Blessed Lady appeared to St. Bernadette at that grotto of Massabiel in Lourdes. And the message that our Blessed Lady gave to St. Bernadette over those 18 apparitions during that year was a very simple message. Pray and do penance. Build a church here and tell people to come in procession. She also said, go and drink and bathe at the spring, that miraculous spring that Our Lady caused to spring up from the ground. And since that time, millions and millions of people have gone to Lourdes. I'm sure many of us have got wonderful recollections of pilgrimages there where we have sought peace and solace in our lives. At this time of crisis and pandemic, Our Lady of Lourdes is a special patroness for us because it's to Lourdes that the sick go who are suffering in mind, body and soul, as many of us have been over this last year. Let's turn to her on this feast with greater devotion and more intense prayer than ever for an end to this pandemic, this crisis in which we find ourselves at the present time. The Gospel of the Mass for Our Lady of Lourdes recounts that first miracle of Jesus, the wedding feast at Cana. It was there that our Lord performed his first miracle at the request of our Blessed Lady, the request of his mother. And the key words of that Gospel for the feast are the words of Mary to the stewards. Do whatever he tells you. And this is always the message of our Blessed Lady to point us to her son, to point us to the salvific message and words of Jesus. We can be sure that if we go to her, she will always introduce us to Jesus. Just as in Lourdes itself, the centre of devotion there is Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, in the Mass, the blessing of the sick, the Eucharistic adoration, processions and benedictions. It's always our Blessed Lady pointing us gently to her son, do whatever he tells you. Let's ask her prayers, her intercession today for ourselves as individuals, our families, our parish family here, and the larger fa family of our diocese. And I assure you all of my prayers, even though I can't see many of you, and most of you won't be able to come to mass and celebrate this feast as we normally would, I assure you of my prayers for you and a special remembrance in the Mass on the Feast of Our Lady and as I pray before the grotto here in our church. Our Lady of Lourdes and St Bernadette pray for us and God bless you all.